It will start with a headache behind your eyes, then a garlicky or metallic taste in the mouth. Before you have enough time to blame something you've eaten, the cramps will set in. They'll reverberate across your central nervous system just before the body slips into a state of acute discomfort that extends to projectile vomiting and bloody diarrhoea, peppered with a debilitating set of muscular cramps and a visible deterioration of the skin. If the poisoning is severe enough, blindness will set in, an impediment that no doubt renders the onset of seizures that little bit darker. The hands will go numb, which can be a precursor to a state of full or partial paralysis that is occasionally followed by good old-fashioned death. Such are the risks of licking the arsenic-laden mineral orpiment. Yes, there are underlying risks to adding volcanic orpiment to your collection. The risks are of course mitigated by suppressing any overwhelming urge to lick the stuff, but since I credit people with enough restraint and intelligence to keep these curiosity demons in check, we feel comfortable selling it, as long as appropriate context is given and the correct disclaimers conveyed. Nonetheless, if you do take a leap of faith and buy some, or at any point encounter some in somebody else's collection, don't take deep breaths around it, handle it with care and gloves, and understand, without checking, that it is laden with sulphur, meaning it will quite literally smell like a human fart, which I hope will prevent you from curiously taking a whiff. Orpiment is a yellow, even gold sulphide mineral found in and around volcanoes or hot volcanic springs. It's formed as realgar, which is another arsenic sulphide mineral, and as that realgar decays, we are left with orpiment. Much in the same way that something like uranium will ultimately end up as lead, realgar ultimately and gradually transforms into orpiment, a word that loosely derives from the word gold or pigment. I won't explain why, because the pictures I have provided make that super obvious. Orpiment has a series of contemporary uses in things such as semiconductors and even some fireworks, but as appears to be a running theme with poisonous minerals in the ancient world, this extremely toxic mineral was once used as medicine, most notably in China. I can't imagine it having made anyone any better, but perhaps the debilitating stomach cramps were a welcome distraction from whatever ailment had motivated them to willingly induce themselves with acute arsenic poisoning. Orpiment belongs to the monoclinic classification of crystal systems, similar to minerals such as azurite or even mica. In simplest terms, they form as a rectangular prism with a parallelogram at the base. It's also an extremely soft mineral, not too dissimilar from talc or gypsum, as it's nestled between these two on the Mohs scale of mineral hardness. Its combined softness, twinned with its monoclinic structure, might even make you want to sit and pull it apart, the way I used to sit and pull apart pieces of lipidolite as a child. For the love of God, though, don't do this, as it's all fun and games until somebody complains and says, My hands feel numb. There's always a market for dangerous minerals. They tend to excite people, I suppose myself included. Perhaps it's the rebellious, self-destructive part of being a human being. The woman who only wants a bad boy, or the dude who only keeps dangerous pets or guns. We like to narrate on the things we collect, because they interest us and rarely others. And it's always more fun to narrate on something that's likely to kill you. You get to put on your deep voice and say, DON'T TOUCH THAT! to visitors when they are hovering over your display cabinet which is a starting pistol on you getting to explain why they can't touch it in a less threatening Morgan Freeman voice. Joking aside, by all means garner a piece for your collection, but handle it with care. Wear gloves, keep it away from pets and animals, with the same kind of vigilance you extend to household bleach. And if in doubt, just don't buy it. It's as simple as that. If you have kids, keep it away. If you have pets, keep it away. So if you're a single, petless spinster, buy orpiment.